Let's practice using some editing marks by editing the sentences below for proper grammar and AP style. Zach's dream is to play basketball for Duke University. On Tuesdays, he and his friend Malik practice at the park behind Walmart on Fayetteville Street. First, Zach's is a possessive noun, a noun that shows ownership or possession. Since the dream belongs to Zach, we need to insert an apostrophe here. Next, we notice that basketball is not a proper noun. So we want to use the lowercase editing mark. University, meanwhile, is part of a proper noun, so we want university to be capitalized. We also don't want it to be abbreviated like it is, so we add the spell out editing mark. Notice how things can get crowded quickly? That's why it's important to submit all your stories in double space, so there's plenty of room to include editing marks. Now that the first sentence looks right, we'll move on to the second. It looks like we have a stray apostrophe in the word Tuesdays. We'll take care of that with the delete and close up editing mark. That means take out the apostrophe and close up the space between the Y and the S to make the word Tuesdays. Now we see that the ampersand is standing in for the word and. Since we want you to write out the word, we'll put the spell out editing mark here. Moving on, that is not how you spell Malik. So we'll use the transpose editing mark to switch the I and the L. Moving on, let's take a look at Walmart. Now this is something we want to look up in our AP style book to make sure that we get right. The style book says it's actually Walmart, wall hyphen mart, and that mart is capitalized. So we've added the insert hyphen and capitalized editing marks. We've also learned from our AP style book that we only abbreviate street when we have a numbered address, which we don't here. Therefore, we use the spell out editing mark here again. And finally, we notice we need a period at the end of the sentence. Now, you'll notice the period looks more like the Target store logo than an actual period. The reason is that the period is circled because just a dot could be easily overlooked. Now we'll try one more. Being a zookeeper is awesome, said Stephanie Walsh. I get to break up fights between lions. Who knew they fight so much? Stephanie started working at the zoo in August. Now it looks like that first sentence is a quote. So we'll use the insert quotation mark editing mark here. Next, zookeeper should be one word. So we'll use the delete and close up editing mark. Now zookeeper isn't in our AP style book. So instead, I looked it up in the Merriam-Webster's dictionary. That's always a good backup if you can't find something in the AP style book. Next, I see there's not a comma at the end of the quotation. So we'll add that in. Now this sentence says, said Stephanie Walsh, but we want attributions to be person said rather than said person. So we'll use the transpose margin editing mark here, circling the attribution and writing TR in the margin. Now this is just another way to use the transpose mark. The next two sentences are also a quote from Stephanie. So we'll add the quotation marks here. Next, I looked up break up in the AP style book, and it says when used as a verb, like it is here, it should be two separate words. This is where the delete mark is used. Since it doesn't have the close up with it, we know to keep break up as two words. Moving on, it looks like new was spelled wrong. We'll fix that with the insert editing mark and write the K in there. Next, we notice this sentence is actually a question, which means we'll add the insert question mark editing mark here. Like the period, this editing mark is a little different. It reads set question mark, because otherwise just a question mark might mean your editor has a question about what was written, rather than that your editor wants you to add a question mark. Now the next sentence introduces a new idea so it needs a new paragraph. As Stephanie is over the age of 18, we'll use her last name instead of her first name. Now, for some reason, working is in a different font, so we'll fix that with the wrong font editing mark. 
And since zoo isn't part of a proper name, then we'll use the lowercase editing mark. And finally, we want to spell out August rather than using the abbreviation since it doesn't use a specific date.